little book. Now, I'd love you to talk to me if you're an atheist. You can't tell us at all where we've come from. Your best guess is a bang. Listen, Manchester was a big bang. Uh, what else have we had? Brighton bomb, Belfast bomb, Beirut bombs, bombs here, bombs there. Not one big bang has produced order. Tell me one big bang that's produced any order. If we had an explosion here this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, we'd have a mess. All them buildings there'd be shattered, our parts would be scattered across the precinct, and yet millions of thinking people gullibly say, oh, we came from the Big Bang, they weren't there, and every other experiment we've done producing the Big Bang has caused chaos. But ladies and gentlemen, you know as well as you do, I do, there's a grave waiting for you. I'm not after your vote. If you want to stick with eternal death, stay with it. But Jesus on the cross loved you enough to die for you. He loved you if you were the only person in the whole of the world who lived on planet Earth, he would still die for you. And he says, I'll forgive you. And most people say no. And Jesus says, well, stay in your death then. You ask for it, you get it, which is obvious. But I'm giving to anybody, anybody who's a thinking, rational adult, a booklet here called The Gospel of John. It says in there, I've written these things that you might know that Jesus is the Christ. There he is, the Son of God. I'm believing you can have eternal life on his name. It's free, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm giving it you for nothing to take the room. May God bless you. Do ask for one. Thank you for stopping.